Hello students, so from our previous modules, we all have understood that sound, it travels through the air by forming compressions and rarefactions. That is, it travels as a longitudinal wave and it needs air to propagate, as was established by the bell jar experiment. Now the question arises, can sound travel through other medium as well? Well, to answer this question, let's carry out a simple activity. So students, just lay your head on your study table, such that your ear touches the table. And now scratch the table gently with your nails. So do you hear any kind of sound? Well, yes, you will surely hear a distinct sound. And that's because the sound it travels from the table to your ear. And you must know that the sound, it travels faster in solids than in liquids and slowest in gases. Now, can you give me a reason as to why the sound travels fastest in solid as compared to liquids and gases? Well, it is so because solids, they have much higher elasticity as compared to liquids and gases. So now, what do you mean by this term elasticity? Well, Elasticity is defined as the property by the virtue of which a material it is able to deform when a force is applied and is able to get back to its original shape or configuration when the force is removed. So you see here, you can see here, when I remove the force, it comes back to its original shape or configuration. Well, students, mark my words that anything that is easy to deform is not the only measure of elasticity. As for example, if we take the case of a steel wire and a rubber string, then what do you think? Which of these is more elastic? Well, you would be surprised to know that the steel wire, it is more elastic than this rubber string. And that's because if this rubber string is pulled, then we can say that it is merely more stretchable. But it is not very elastic, or I can say, that it is less elastic. And what do we, my, we, what do we mean by this term less elastic? Well, in physics, we've defined elasticity as the resistance to change. So the greater the resistance to change, the greater is the elasticity of the material. And the faster it comes back to its original shape or configuration when the deforming force, it is removed. So this rubber, it is less elastic than this steel wire. So students never get confused with this term of elasticity and never think elasticity as something or the uh, as something which is the amount of stretching as both of them are completely different from each other. Well students, let's return back to our topic where we have discussed that sound travels fastest in solids as compared to liquids and gases. And that's because solids, they have much higher elasticity as compared to liquids and gases. Thus, more the elasticity of a medium, faster will be the speed of sound in that particular medium. So students, now if you see the solid substance at the molecular level, then it is characterized by molecules with strong forces of attraction for each other. And these molecular forces of attraction, they can be considered to be as springs that control how quickly the particles they return to their original positions. So the particles that return to their resting position quickly are ready to move again more quickly. Thus, they can vibrate at much higher speeds. Therefore, the sound can travel faster through the mediums with higher elastic properties like that of steel than it can through solids like rubber, which have lower elasticity. Now, another reason why sound travels fastest in solids is that in solids, the molecules, they are closely packed together and they're tightly bonded. So being so close to each other, they can collide very quickly. That is, it takes less time for a molecule of the solid to bump into its neighboring molecule, thus causing the disturbance to move forward in very less amount of time. 